We're talking Bomb Rush Cyberpunk, and we are hearing some of the OST right now. This track's called Anime Break. We got the B-roll boom- up right now. So if you wanna, if you're looking at the, if you're looking at the footage, it's all good. Yeah, I speak often about games with style, and you know how you used to have to stand out, especially in the early days of like Mario and Sonic, and yeah, this kind of stands out apart from the rest. Anyway, I mean, you don't always see a beautiful cell shaded platformer that comes along and uh i also love a good graffiti game you don't see them every day um but just some rebellious street running and then you also get like a beautiful tony hawk trick busting element to this and wow it's a lot of fun i put exactly 108 minutes into it (laughs) and right now i'm just i'm stunned i'm taken aback i mean it's it's definitely you know, what you would expect from somebody trying to like emulate something that's beloved by fans, but still put their own spin on it. Some of the bigger differences between Bomb Rush and games we've seen before are like, I, I'm super into the story already. I'm hooked. Okay. It's um, a bit more dramatic than sort of your usual Sega kind of fluff that's you know, I'm, I'm involved in this character right now. His, uh, his name is Red, but they used to call him Foe, and that was when he still had his head. Because <laughs> Oh, it's not his head! Yeah, no, that's the red, you know, FLCL-looking <laughs> head that you see on the main character. It's It wasn't always like that, and you, you learn <laughs> what happened to him pretty quick in the introduction. But, um... Yeah, stories of street legends and rival crews and, you know, battling for what graffiti writers call up, not what cats call up, (laughs) where you get street cred and what in Bomb Rush we call rep. You know, if you're the crew with the most rep, you you pretty much get to run the streets and, and tell people how it is and what it's like. I love the, uh, Um, I love that, I love that, I love the... It's the street culture is absolutely this game is absolutely saturated in it. You get up with your graffiti for rep. Oh my god. Like so good. Yeah, the um the crew called the old heads really like shows that they they kind of know their influences and their culture. Not to mention the amazing soundtrack um that like spans a bunch of just cool underground genres. You know, hip hop, electro, funky, break beats, and UK garage. I mean, that hits all of my my musical DJ buttons like crazy. Um, Hell yeah! You could hear these songs bumping, you know, in a club or at an underground renegade party, <laughs> and you would yeah. be at an eye. It's they just it oozes style from every direction. Um, so far, I mean, I haven't even unlocked BMX yet. And the story Whoa, just... What? Is, <laughs> yeah. I, um, you can take on and off your rollerblades or your skateboard. But yeah, I haven't gotten on a bike yet. And that's something I'm still really excited for. But the story has taken a, uh, a pretty interesting turn where um, they're discussing how in their universe they've gotten robots to dream. And, oh. you know, your, your character red is now having these dreamlike experiences now that he's got a robot head and Whoa. yeah um so yeah some of the footage I, I've I learned how to use the dance moves and the dance commands and as you uh, defeat crews you'll learn their dance moves and get to use them mostly aesthetically you know in different parts of the map and with sure. your um with your friends but like again it they really know their their street culture and their their hip hop influences because <laughs> so far I've unlocked the top rock like the classic breakdance move and also um, popping you know popping oh, rocking yeah. so just oozing with with good times culture and a lot of fun combo based platforming doing tricks the whole time 
it's it's a beautiful thing. I gotta I gotta say, um, it looks like you the the tricking in this game is insane. You have like a boost jump. It looks like from this B roll. I mean, not this one that we're looking at right now. This crazy dreamlike react. This is that dreamlike stuff you were talking about. If you're watching the B roll right now. Yeah, th this is a this yeah. is a little snippet from the story right here, but like, and uh, we're gonna see a little bit of that graffiti that we love from this clip right here. But like that, I was gonna say that tricking looks insane. Earlier we were watching on the B-roll, you do a little bit of um, combos with like y you were hitting statues. They were like 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 a like they were spinning. You hit them, you spin, yeah. and then you hit a bunch of them, and it unlocked a door. And like. It was cool because you were doing a combo the whole time, and like in yep. one, in another one, you you found like uh, like a a secret outfit. Is there like a bunch of goodies like that? Is this like a big world? Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen the full depth of the world just yet, but I was getting lost in just yeah, seeing those little signs, unlocking them. That's kind of like some some unlockable stuff where I I land the whole combo line and slap all the high five all the all the objects mid you know mid grind but um yeah fun mechanics like turning into grinds like if the if the rail changes direction you can turn into it and that'll up your combo oh, um the graffiti is a lot of fun it's not just like one button you pretty much intuitively decide what you want to paint based on what direction you hit the control stick so oh, okay it's, yeah it's just based on whatever moves you kind of input with the control stick as if you're actually moving an aerosol can up and down by a wall which i love Sick. yeah it's just based on your input the design changes and you you follow through with whatever combo and you can look in your, in your it's funny they give you a flip phone and it's the future <laughs> and it looks like a nokia razor or something <laughs> i mean we cut it, it kind of is the future and we do have flip phones again <laughs> mm -hmm. coming full circle but yeah you can dig around in there to see what combos will do which graffitis and you can oh, put up wow. your favorite ones yeah a lot so of it's fun like free um, form it's like a free form graffiti system yeah just about it'll come up in the in the b-roll but yeah, you get like a uh, omnidirectional little window and you just point different directions and that that sprays your art up on a wall. That's so cool. Wow. Okay. Okay. And yep. and it's not dictated by like a specific pattern like in old school the first Jet Set Radio, Jet Grind Radio, where like you're you're like doing like like a half circle left, a half circle down up to like uh like right yeah. to up right to like left to down you're not doing that you're it's free form in that you're just matching the dots and then whatever pattern you do gives you a result that is a, a unique graffiti design yeah you unlock new graffitis and basically based on your first input that's sort of it determines what combo you have to do so yeah, you, you have wow. pretty much as many options as there are directions that show up when you hit the graffiti button. That is so sick. All right, yeah, that's that's yeah. dope as hell. Like, <laughs> um, biggest <laughs> maybe downside so far is uh, similar to like my hover review from a couple years back. I mean, things can get kind of crazy when your level design gets really vertical. I haven't experienced um, a whole lot of it yet, but like if you're trying to get a, a graffiti spot that's up super high, you're you're gonna get a little sort of lost in like the trial and error of trying to get it, or um, okay. you know, be sure to pay attention to your map if it's giving you any clues as to like, go talk to this character. But, you know, so you do go talk to different people and different crews and you should expect this to progress in the game, but you know your um, your rival, one of the ones I've encountered, they're called the Franks, and because they're Frankenstein's, and they they're <laughs> just thrown together humans that pop lock in the streets and spray gra graffiti. But you'll have to follow one of their combos and one of their their trick lines. You'll have to hold a manual down like you know several flights of stairs, and you'll have to uh, emulate okay. their moves. So, if you've ever played Jet Set Radio, 
You'll, you'll <laughs> actually, the, frust the frustrations that you have, like, will feel very familiar. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> trying to line up that one jump, or like, oh, like, did I miss the direction of their combo, and did I not copy it correctly oh enough? Oh my god. It hasn't been, and honestly, uh, it, while you might struggle for that perfect execution, it's still a lot of fun, and I, I know I just picked it up last night and played it for a bit, but even when I'm like doing something that might feel like a struggle, I'm having a great time because I am just busting tricks the whole time. <laughs> yeah, you know, like sometimes Grind you have city. to... Uh, yeah, yeah, the city so far is still just super lively to me, and I want to explore every nook and cranny and, you know, do all the what could be pretty difficult combo lines <laughs> sometimes. It looks so, well, I'll see how this... The I'll combos, see how it escalates. From yeah, here. the the combos that you're doing in this B-roll alone, it's just like holy shit, man! You've got like the the grinds, the wall rides, into the boost, into like these like weird, like like you said, like you're leaning into things. It's like you're on the ground, but you're still tricking, and it's like what? Like like it, it's yeah. It, this is crazy. Yeah, it, it looks sick as shit. Like I I really really I I think I might pick this up tonight. Like, and just yeah, grind there is um, like, there's no like balance meter, so like if you're expecting it to be like Tony Hawk, it's like no, you're not gonna do combos like that. You're gonna do it, you know, sort of in a more animated and flashy way. Well, it's animated. Yeah. It's Jet Set Radio, like. Yeah, cell shaded. I I love it, and yeah, some of those combos, you, you know, you're gonna have a good time doing them and uh, rebelling against local authorities. Finding out the mysteries of, uh, you know, who is DJ Cypher and what is he doing with your head? <laughs> Shit, yeah. 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 We cover the mystery of, you know, who Red was as Clo, one of the uh, the big three graffiti writers in New Amsterdam. All right. All right. Well, I mean, was there any any final words on Bomb Rush Cyberfunk on this one before we uh, before we eventually get a full review from you, I hope? Oh yeah, no, I, I can't get enough of this. If you like games with style, if you like games with tricks, if you appreciate um, hip hop, electronic music, and a good danceable soundtrack, you're absolutely going to want to play Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, it's out now for Steam, for Nintendo Switch, for PlayStation, for Xbox. It's coming out on September 1st. Um, mm -hmm soon yeah very soon it'll be out on everything and from the sound of it if you love jet set radio you should be playing this already um but for everyone else stay tuned for our review